Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so I'm so excited for this next order. This is my Teddy Bees pre-order. I have been loving everybody's videos. Um, it seems like everybody's getting their videos up like last week and this week. Um, well, today's only Tuesday, but yeah, everything's been going up last week and over the weekend and just so excited to see like what everybody got and like there's so many scents that I'm like, oh gosh, why didn't I get that one? That one sounds so amazing. So the ready to ship for Teddy Bees is this Saturday, November 20th. I think she said at 3 p.m. Central. Let me see if I can find it really quickly. Um, I believe, because she did post. Let's see, and Tiffany is the owner's name. I've only purchased from her once before in a pre-order. I don't, I think it was like back in January. Um, but yeah, so she said the ready to ship is this November, sorry, this Saturday, November 20th at 3 p.m. Central. She has every scent from the last pre-order is going to be available in this ready to ship plus some additional um, scents. And it says that she's going to have scent shots, bakery bags, single shapes, two pack tiles, 16 ounce loaves, and then all the um, shapes, I think, from um, like yeah, souffles, loaves, and chunks. So basically all this, the shapes and scents from the last pre-order plus. So I'm definitely gonna try and score some stuff in that. I have not obviously done a ready to ship for her. I kind of strayed away from ready to ship from a lot of vendors and was like focusing on pre-orders because they're just easy and hassle-free. But um, yeah, I, there's some scents I want from her and so like that I didn't get in this order but I'm really excited for this order I did a good amount of um wax this time my last order I just did souffles because I was like let me try her out see how much I like her this order I did mostly chunk bags and then a few souffles on scents that I just wasn't sure how much I was gonna like um but there are scents in here yeah there's so many that like I don't think I'm gonna I don't know we'll see if I'm gonna buy more of any of the scents I got um, or if I'll focus on just scents I didn't get last time because I really need to slow down on buying because it's getting a little crazy. But anyhow, let me share with you what I got. I got a couple um, samples. I don't have the scent notes, scent notes for these. This is Campfire Stories. This smells so good. I think, I think she's really good about putting in samples that you did not get in your order because I think everybody I've been watching is they're sharing their samples. I think they're scents that they didn't order and they're always different. So that's really awesome. I like when a vendor does that and that's good for business because then if you like it, you come back and get it. This is really good. You get kind of um, like a bakery spice, some like marshmallow. I always worry about campfire scents because I don't like anything that smells truly smoky. This doesn't smell smoky. It gives you a campfire feeling without smelling like smoke. This is really good and actually a scent I would get in the ready to ship if I can. And then I smell fall. And ooh, this it's Cider Lane. I think I looked up at Cider Lane, pumpkin pecan waffles, and toasted and marshmallow fireside, I think. It smells really good. You really get the Cider Lane and pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't, it's really good, but I have a lot of Cider Lane in my collection, so I don't know that I need this one because I think it's a little bit heavier on the Cider Lane, but it smells really good. I might melt it and see if I have to have it before Saturday. Okay, I'll start with my um, souffles. This first one is Valkyrie. Valkyrie? I guess that's how it's pronounced. She now has, for most of these, she has the pour date on the label, which I think is fantastic. This is Cashmere Cream Vanilla Snowflake Bath and Body Works type in Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. I'm learning that that's like a scent that I need in all the blends. Ooh, that smells so good. Here's what it looks like. Oh, that smells really pretty. Yeah, this is, I feel like I get the Cashmere Cream the most in the Vanilla Snowflake. I'm not really smelling, maybe a little bit of Palo Santo, but that smells really pretty. Yeah, that's one that, it's a good wintry scent, um, like warm and comforting. Sorry, oh, my nose itches. So this is one I'm, I may consider getting more of this weekend. I don't know because I really should focus on scents I don't have already. Um, snow Covered Orchard. And this is Sparkling Snow Whipped Vanilla Apples, Pears, and Plums. I'm actually surprised I picked this one up. 
it smells amazing it is so pretty it's such a pretty scent because i like apple but i don't like scents that are heavy on the apple but this obviously isn't heavy apple but i was worried once i when i opened my order i was worried that because it said snow covered orchard that it was going to be heavy on apples it's not you definitely get the sparkling snow and i it doesn't say bbw type but i feel like it is a bath and body works type but then the apples, pears, and plums, it's just a pretty, like, fruity scent. It's, like, wintry, fruity, pretty. And it, that's so pretty. Yeah, that, this is one I think I might want to get a larger quantity. Of. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, so this on cold, yeah, might be, I might have to get more. Um, old School Christmas. And this is fresh pine, red apples, warm cinnamon, sugar crystals, and marshmallow cream. And I think I probably did a small one of this because cinnamon, I like cinnamon, but I like it when it's like a good bakery warm cinnamon versus like a really spicy like red hot or like craft store cinnamon. This is good. Um, you definitely get the pine and cinnamon. This is very pretty. Yeah, it's, it smells like Christmas. It's definitely cinnamon and pine i think you get like the apples a little bit in there and the sugar crystals and marshmallow cream just kind of sweeten it up, up a bit but you definitely have to like pine tree and cinnamon for this scent but it's very pretty i think because i have so many christmas scents that should be enough in that scent there okay so now into my chunk bags so she comes cuts these really quite large and these are supposed to be eight ounces you know i didn't weigh them but they they're pretty hefty and i feel like each melt each cube because they're really thick too you can probably get like this small okay, i'm gonna shoot them back this small one probably cut in half this one probably three and each of these into four pieces because these this is good size wax and everyone that i think is more experienced with teddy bees than i am have been saying you don't need a lot of teddy bees and i think that is generally the true like I usually cut the soufflés into six pieces but I actually think I might try doing eight and see how that goes but anyhow okay so winter fell and this is marshmallow fireside palo santo white birch icy snow and vanilla sounds so pretty yeah it's so pretty oh and she uses really thick um bags and they're like at least three millimeters because um I double bag my wax and I have been buying my bags from clearbags.com and I went, like one of the sizes I wanted, they only had three millimeters and I got it and it's these really thick bags, I actually really like it. So I think going forward, that's what I'm gonna get because I think it's just gonna help with, especially the softer wax like this and anything that has a very high concentration of oils, I think um, it just probably helps preserve it, I don't know. But this is beautiful. Um, that white birch, you definitely get the white birch that gives you that kind of woodsy, kind of winter tree smell. Oh, it smells so pretty. I don't get a lot of the Palo Santo. I get a little bit of the marshmallow fireside. But this just, it, it literally gives you that feeling of being outdoors in the winter, surrounded by snow, like as the snow's falling and you're middle, in the middle of like woods of white birch trees. Like it's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I love the scent but I think that's enough to get me through winter. I don't need to order more of that. Okay, so Strawberry Fudgery is the next one. I was super excited about this one. Um, this is Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Patisserie. I don't know if Patisserie is like a single scent oil or if it's something that she blended on her own. I know I spoke about Dessa's, how Dessa's has a Patisserie scent that I absolutely love. And I was curious, well, Dessa's is a house blend, so I know this isn't going to be the same, but it kind of got me excited about this. So this is definitely like a bakery, creamy, sweet bakery number one with like a little bit of that strawberry in the background. It's really good. I am um, excited to melt it. I think I do prefer my strawberry bakery with a little bit more strawberry in it but I do like it, so I'm excited to melt that. Oh, I got I Heart Vanilla Pumpkin. 
Um, and so this is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, and sweet pumpkin. So I got her heart, I heart vanilla in the last pre-order. I'll be honest, I did not realize there was boardwalk marshmallow clouds in it. Um, but when I melted it on cold, I was like, meh, like it didn't really strike me much. I don't think the boardwalk marshmallow clouds was very obvious in it, but on warm, oh my gosh, it was such a beautiful scent. So when I saw this, like I wish she had just the I Heart Vanilla available, um, cause I totally will buy that again. Um, I think I actually still have a little bit more of it, but this one I thought, okay, with pumpkin, I have to have it. And it smells really good. It's a little bit light on cold, but this is cured. It's from, it's dated 10-3 is the pour date. So I would say this is likely cured. I think it's just that I heart vanilla is very light on cold. You have to get it in the warmer and it really develops and comes out. So you just get a little bit of that vanilla, a little bit of pumpkin. It's not like a really spicy pumpkin. I think there's a little bit of spice, but it smells really good. I know, like I kind of have a lot of faith that this will be amazing on warm. On cold, it's like meh, but I think on warm, it's gonna be great. Okay, so camp, oh, I do, okay. So <laughs> I do have campfire stories. I bought it, so I didn't even realize. See, that's how long ago this order was. Um, so this is ooey gooey s'mores, cold night winds, and sweet vanilla woods. So that's why it doesn't have a smoky note because it has the s'mores, which s'mores is typically graham cracker, chocolate, and marshmallow. Cold night winds is going to give you that outdoorsy, windy, um, you know, outdoorsy, cool nights um, scent, and then sweet vanilla woods. So there is no smoky notes in this, and that's why I like that. It's very pretty. Yeah, I'm glad I have this. And so, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, there's like a little ghost. He's covered by the label, but she's like a little ghost guy on there. It's just so pretty. I love that scent. So, I'm excited to see. I have some already. I don't have to worry about that one this weekend. Okay, this next one is The Long Farewell. And this is Palo Santo, Twilight Woods, Pink Sugar with a hint of lavender and vanilla. Um, the one thing I have to say is with her lavender, although it smells really beautiful and cold, I feel like it doesn't throw a lot. At least the couple of the lavender scents I've melted from her so far from my first order. But this smells very beautiful. You get kind of this nice soft lavender. I, I, the Palo Santo Twilight Woods and Pink Sugar, I'm not distinctly smelling any one of them. So I don't know if they're just blending to, I think maybe a little bit of that Palo Santo and Twilight Woods. Yeah, it smells really good. It just gives you kind of like a beautiful, like soft, outdoorsy, warm, I don't know, scent. So it smells good. Uh, this next one is Pumpkin Cookie Jar. And this is oatmeal, brown sugar, vanilla, pumpkin, sugar cookies and a hint of maple and she does decorate her chunks really cute i just don't want to take a lot of them out but see that's what this one looks like this is definitely strong on the cinnamon um i don't know if that's coming from the pumpkin or the oatmeal it's definitely kind of a heavy spicy cinnamon bakery um, I'm, you know, it's sweet, it's creamy, so it's pretty, but I do think the cinnamon's pretty intense on this one. And that's mostly probably because I'm, I just don't like love too much cinnamon. So that's good, but the cinnamon is strong. So I'm curious, I'm going to be curious to see how it does on warm for me. Um, this next one is Santa Claus is coming to town, which this one smells so good. I've seen a lot of people get this one. The smell of fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. I think this is like the third or fourth vendor that I have that kind of blend from. It smells good. I mostly get the candy canes, a little bit of the Christmas tree. It surprisingly, okay, so I'm getting the peppermint better now. I have to kind of whiff, like really smell it a bit get my nose in the bag. Um, it, yeah, it smells like candy cane, sugar cookie, and a little bit of a Christmas tree scent. On cold, it's kind of light compared to what I would expect for the scent notes in this, 
but I have, again, experience with her wax that it really does develop a lot on warm. All right, cider cookies. Uh, this is apples, cake, sorry, apples, cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. <clears throat> we'll show you a little bit of the decoration. Ooh, definitely it's like a baked apple, like an apple crumble. Even though that's not what it says, that's what it just says, apples and cake donut. And maybe it's the apple and the cake donut, like, together giving it that kind of scent. The cinnamon's not heavy on this, so I like that. Um, you definitely get a lot of the caramel. So it does have that really sweet caramel. It's not too ooey gooey. It kind of smells like a caramel, a baked caramel apple that's been fried. It's baked and then fried. <laughs> it smells really good. It's really good. It kind of gives you a little bit of like, um, a little bit of like a cider lane kind of feel to it. Okay, this next one is cinnamon toast. I wasn't sure about this one. I'm actually surprised that I got it in a big bag and I don't know if this is a new scent to her. I know one of the things I was doing in the group is looking to see what people were recommending or saying were their favorites to kind of influence what I was getting. Um, Cause normally, buttery pastry dough anything that's buttery and wax i tend to shy away from because i do not like buttery scents like they just turn my stomach like fake butter scents like real butter cooking yeah no problem but um but yeah so the buttery pastry normally would not be something i would go for um but this brown sugar cinnamon buttery pastry dough vanilla buttercream so you know i had to get it people have been it sounds like most people that I've been watching their haul videos have liked it. it. It smells really good. I say, I don't think it smells like legit cinnamon toast. You definitely get that buttery pastry. Um, on cold right now, it doesn't, it's not overly buttery where I think it's going to bother my stomach. It smells really good. You definitely get like that sweet kind of cinnamon in here. It's good. Definitely good, but I don't really get the toasty note of it. I get more of kind of that sweet cinnamon sugar and like a buttery note, like a buttery sugar cookie, you know? Um, so it's good. We'll have to melt that one to see, but like how I, what I think of it overall. Um, okay, this one is Simply Christmas. And this is the smell of Christmas furs with the slightest hint of candy cane. So this is Christmas tree. Oh, this bag is thinner. Ooh, this, this is good. I like this Christmas tree scent better than, I don't know if it's the same. It smells like a different Christmas tree in the Santa Claus is coming to town. Let me see. Yeah, like I, I almost don't get Christmas tree scent in that one. So it doesn't, yeah, this one smells really good. You really get that fresh, like, outdoorsy pine. Mm, or maybe like a sweet balsam type scent. But slightest hint of candy canes. Yeah, I mean, you smell the candy canes for sure. That sweet mintiness. But um, I definitely think this is heavier on the Christmas tree. Yeah, that smells really good. And just to kind of show you. Some of the cute decorations. Let's see, three more. This next one is Christmas Party. And this is Sweater Weather, Bath and Body Works type, cranberries, orange, tangerine, and a hint of spice. Oh, this one's beautiful. It smells like a spiced cranberry orange punch or something like that because it's sweet you get like a sweet tart cranberry you get that sweet orange but there's like a a fall spice to it oh that is so good the sweater weather like is there you can smell it but it doesn't overpower the scent at all this is on cold a beautiful scent so the pour date on this is 10 20. so not quite a month but i think i'm going to melt this one because I want to see if I really, really like it on warm. I may try to get more this weekend. That That's definitely a standout for me. Okay, so I made a mistake when I was shopping. 
Um, I got a souffle and a chunk bag in old school Christmas, so that was an accident. I think I got I think I got the chunk bag. I meant to take out the souffle or vice versa. Um, yeah, but it, I mean it smells good, but you definitely get that warm cinnamon. So I have a chunk bag in that as well. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Another standout for me, Weekend with Papa. I've been hearing a lot of people raving about this scent. Um, at least like from the reviews, people have loved this. This is Salty Sea Air Vanilla Bean Noel Toasted Marshmallows um, blended with roasted pine cones. So I guess Salty Sea Air Vanilla Bean Noel Toasted Marshmallows is a scent she has called Sadie. And then with the roasted pine cones is The Weekend with Papa. So, um, yum. Sounds good. Yeah, this is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. You really get the vanilla bean noel and toasted marshmallows. The salty sea air is not super strong in this. It just kind of adds a little bit of that. It, you, you can smell it. It adds a little bit of that salty sea fresh air smell. And the pine cones are in there, but they're not super strong. It kind of gives them like a little bit of a warm, a little bit of a warm toasty scent. So this is really good. This may be one I think about getting more of this weekend too. I don't know, I'll have to make a list. Once she, she's supposed to post her list on Thursday of everything that she's gonna have. So that was everything I got. Um, but she's supposed to post her list on Thursday of everything that's gonna be available on Saturday. I will have to take a look and see um, how much I wanna get because I don't wanna go too crazy and get too much. This was a, a good size order, I feel like. Um, and I don't want to just like hoard a bunch of scents, you know, because these, I have to remember, these will come back around next year. So if there's something like, so for this one, because the pine cone, you know, I'll probably only melt this through winter, come spring and summer, I won't. So this is probably enough to get me through, even though I'm like tempted to get more. We'll see. Anyhow, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, for any of you that have been posting your videos, I really, really enjoyed them. I know I don't always comment, but um, I try to comment more as much as I can just because, you know, to really, I don't know, let you guys know how much I'm enjoying the content and stuff. Um, but if you guys got teddy bees, are any favorites that you got that you recommend I kind of take a look at for this weekend or um, any sense in particular that you're going for this weekend, definitely feel free to share those below. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.